What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll review the Sill Fitness Cable Pulley System, which unlocks many exercises for your home gym. As an honest reviewer, I will tell you right now that I accepted this kit at no cost from Sill Fitness. I was contacted by Sill Fitness and asked if I would be willing to make a product review video if they provided it at no cost. This is not uncommon. I receive many of these requests for a variety of products. I had a high interest in this product and my fitness equipment videos are well received. So I responded, making it clear that I would provide an honest and detailed review. If this product had problems, I would absolutely point them out. Sill Fitness, confident in their product, had no problem with this and agreed. So I accepted the offer. I have used this equipment for three weeks, getting familiar with it and putting it to work. In this review, I will quickly unbox it and show what comes in the kit. I will go over the construction and weight capacities of the components. I will set up the equipment. Then I will go through my experience with practical use and how it has held up after three weeks. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. So here we go. Here's the box. Sill Fitness Lat Pull-Down System. Opening it up. First, we have the tricep rope attachment. Next is the loading pin. This is what the weight plates are loaded onto, and it includes a rubber bumper. Then is the cable with the rubber stop on one end, and the hanging strap to hang the pulley. There's a second box that contains the pulley, and last is a bag of hardware, which includes four hooks, an extension chain, and a wrench with clamps to shorten the cable if desired. There is also a set of instructions in color. Now let's check out the construction of each component in detail. First is the rope attachment. The nylon rope is one inch in diameter. The attachment point is steel, tested with this magnet. Getting into the plastic ends, I just popped off the cap. The ends of the nylon rope are melted, so they won't fray. This is good. And there is a steel collar crimped around the end, which keeps them from pulling through the plastic end. Now, let's button it back up, so we can put it to the test. Next is the loading pin. This specific one is 2 inches for Olympic plates. But there's also an option for a 1 inch loading pin for standard plates, and a 2 in 1 with a sleeve that supports standard and Olympic plates. Removing the rubber bumper, we can take a look at how the bottom plate is attached to the tube. There is a continuous fillet weld all the way around. At the other end, there is a lifting bolt, and there is a cap welded all the way around on the top of the tube. Now let's take a look inside and see how the lifting bolt is attached. There is a nut on the back side of the lifting bolt, and there is weld connecting the bolt and the nut and the cap. This will ensure that the nut will never come loose and everything will stay secure. And here is the rubber bumper, which is a nice touch. It elevates the weight plates so it doesn't interfere with the fillet weld and also prevents the plate from being in contact with the metal. The one inch loading pin for standard plates is advertised for 500 pounds and the two inch loading pin for Olympic plates is advertised for 800 pounds. Next is the cable. This one measures 68 inches long from hole center to hole center. It is a steel cable coated with plastic and the steel ends are crimped on. And one end has a rubber bumper ball with a steel shield. And the cable is advertised for 340 pounds. Next is the hanging strap. It's one continuous loop. It's assembled with a lap joint and held together with an appropriate stitch. The nylon strap is one inch wide. Next up is the pulley. It has a plastic wheel that spins quiet and smooth. The hook on top is stainless steel and rotates freely. And it rotates on a bolt for an axle. It has spacers inside to keep the wheel centered. And there's a nylon locking nut on the other end to prevent it from coming loose. And here's a closer look at the lifting bolt. On the inside, there is a stainless steel bolt and the head won't pull through. On this side, the end of the bolt is welded to the lifting hook so it'll stay secure. Let's quickly disassemble this and take a look at the axle mechanism. Removing the nylon locking nut, the axle bolt slides right out. 
Then the pulley is removed. Taking a close look, we have sealed for life, greased roller bearings, quiet and smooth. And there's a machined spacer on each side, pressed into the inner race of the bearing. Everything is tight and assembled well. As a mechanical engineer, this is a good design. The advertised rating for the pulley is 400 pounds. Next is the hooks, or carabiners. The spring return on the latches is nice and strong. Using a magnet, it is verified that the material is steel. The extension chain measures 19 inches long. The chain links measure 1.074 by 0.337 inside and 0.153 thick. The material is stainless steel. Looking up the generic trade size, the advertised weight capacity is 400 pounds. Note that this is not the Sill Fitness advertised capacity. This is looking up the generic trade size. And last, the clamps and the cable thimble to shorten the cable length are stainless steel. So that's the whole kit. The weight capacity of the complete system is 340 pounds. This is based on the weakest link, which is the cable, rated at 340 pounds. Now, let's put this kit to work for three weeks and see what it's got. Here we are three weeks later. I mounted this to the pull-up bar on my power cage, right here. This kit installs easy. You're up and running in seconds. First, wrap the strap around the member that you want to hang the pulley from. Then, install the carabiner through both open loops. Attach the pulley to the carabiner. Feed the cable through the pulley. Moving on down to the floor, set the loading pin underneath the pulley. Then drop on some plates. Then connect the cable to the loading pin with the carabiner. And the final step is to connect your pulling attachment to the other end of the cable with the carabiner. This cable length is pretty good for me, but depending on how things shake out, you can shorten it with the kit or extend it with a chain. To shorten the cable, install the cable thimble inside, then tighten down the two clamps, like so. Note that this is a one-time adjustment. You don't want to do this repeatedly. And the carabiner connects through the thimble opening. To lengthen the cable, install the chain at the desired length. I'm using the stock cable length, no extension chain or cable shortening kit. With this kit, you can do any exercise that pulls away or down, but nothing that pulls up. You would need an additional pulley and cable for that, which Sill Fitness does offer. Now let's check out the practical exercises, starting with push exercises. First up is the tricep push down. Committing to a home gym about a year ago, I've missed some of these cable exercises and it's great to have them back in my arsenal. This kit is also great for overhead tricep extensions. And take a look at the loading pin during these exercises to get an idea of how much it swings around. We've also got chest cable crossovers. Of course, you'll have to do one side at a time, which makes balancing a little more challenging. It's more taxing on your core. Now let's move on to pull exercises. This kit works perfect for face pulls. It's a winner for straight arm lat pull downs as well. I was able to make one arm rows effective by setting up my bench on an incline. As long as you're pulling the cable perpendicular to your body, it's a row. I'm kind of limited to one arm because if I load enough weight for two arms, it'll pull me out of my seat. But you can double up if you have something to post your legs against. And of course, one of the main pull exercises is lat pull downs. It does provide the option of single arm pull downs for me. But again, if I load it up for both arms, I'll pull myself off the ground. I'm personally sticking with weighted pull ups, but that's just my personal preference. The kit does give the option for lat pull downs. There are, of course, plenty of other exercises available. These are just a couple highlights. I've assembled a pretty complete home gym over the last year and felt like I can do pretty much anything I wanted to, but this cable kit is a game changer. It brought back some favorite cable exercises and has opened up a lot more options. It is fast and easy to get this set up and get lifting. Based on the last three weeks of use, it has held up great. The pulley is quiet and smooth. 
and there have not been any significant issues. The only two negatives that I have to point out are one, one time when I removed the weight plate, the rubber bumper was stuck to the bottom. This is trivial, and it only happened once. But if your rubber bumper is ever missing, check the bottom of the last weight plate that you used. And number two, the carabiners. These machined edges around the latch are pretty sharp. And also, when pushing the latch in with my finger, there's not a lot of room to get accessories on or off. But this type of latch is an industry standard. These are pretty typical for cable systems and attachments. With that in mind, I definitely recommend this kit. It has added a lot of great options to the home gym. I should have done this a lot sooner. I look forward to using this kit, hopefully for years to come. There are several similar kits available from a variety of unfamiliar manufacturers, which can be a little perilous when shopping new. But now you know the details of the Sill Fitness Kit. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Drop any comments below and I'll see you in the next video. In case you're curious about these goofy looking handles, I just threw them together because I needed something. PVC pipe, nylon strap, heavy washer, and a load bearing carabiner. I definitely recommend buying some from day one. You'll need them and I have some on order.